Without hope, I will vanish, and all this weights on our hearts, tore us far apart. But one can always heal. One can. It took me some time to get here, the release of my third album. I've called myself Lana Tree since 2016 and my primary goal was to write music in the blink of an eye, release it into the world as soon as it was recorded and never look back. Things have gone somewhat different from what I first tried to accomplish, but I still write most of my lyrics in about 5-10 to 10 minutes. I don't alter my first ideas all that much and if I lose it, I let it go instead of chasing after it. What I didn't expect from all this was how fast it would get a hold of me, drag me in and never let me go. How the people I met would challenge me, change me and give me a whole new perspective on life. How I would end up where I never thought I would and how it probably was supposed to happen, even though I like to deny such naive beliefs. No matter what I think I know, I end up here. And I realized that somehow I found a world in between what I see and what I pass through. In 2019, I was getting ready to release a very dark EP featuring mostly a well described depression. But something changed. A dear friend of mine reminded me that we become what we set our minds to, and it filled me with light, and thankfully, my newfound friends did the same to backlight sonnets. Of course, I couldn't just leave out the sad parts, because that's not how life works. It's a balance, and I've learned that a smile doesn't necessarily mean you're happy and a tear is not a symbol of weakness. For instance, when Madeline recorded the piano, she said it's a good thing that she's deeply depressed, because you can hear all the way through. That hit me so hard that I cried listening to her play. That's the kind of person I am, and I don't have a problem showing my emotions. I don't think anyone should, ever. Someone once told me that my peaks are too high and my bottoms are too low. I don't know. I don't really think that's something you can say to a person. And in this case, my high peaks and my low bottoms have resulted in this. And I'm so proud of it. One hand searching for the sky I don't think I've ever been so alive With one hand covering the sun A new life and it has just been gone Some things no matter how we fight Will always come to change our lives No sense in fighting it no more It'll never go back to what it was before So go It'll be alright And no It'll be alright One heart sticking to the beat One soul following this heat 
One mind finally opening up And one moment was more than enough Some days, no matter how we strive We can't hold it all And we cry There's no shame in showing how you feel It's the only way to keep things real So go It'll be alright And no It'll be So far, I managed to release three independent albums, toured Europe in 2018, and when I say toured, I mean driving a car through Denmark, Germany, the Netherlands and Belgium, playing wherever they'd have me. In 2019, I teamed up with Australian singer-songwriter Ryan Edmund, and we did a crazy little tour in the UK, all along the south coast, surfed in Cornwall, met Alex and Beth of Alex Rainbird Music in Southampton and did a little sightseeing on our way back to London. Say one more time first. I've bought guitars in Portugal and Bali only to be forced to leave them behind. It might sound like a waste, but it really wasn't because I wrote my first song, Patient and Quiet, in Bali and pretty much taught myself how to play the guitar on a balcony in Portugal a few years before that. I learned how to write music on the go and figured there's no shame in learning whilst you are listening. The real waste is not doing what you really want. It might have felt dumb back then, but it brought me to where I am now. Releasing Backlight Sonnets all on my own, making a documentary about it all on my own. But then again, not alone at all. I started writing this album at the same time as Small Steps Ahead was on its way out into the world, and since then I've met the most amazing people got them blown away by how well they contributed to my songs, cried, laughed, and tried my best to realize it is all happening right now. So it took me some time to get here, the release of my third album. I'll keep calling myself Lana Trees for as long as I live, and I'm sure it'll all be worthwhile. Because at the end of the day, I would rather fail a million times than regret living a life not brave enough to try. <laughs>